Question 8. 13 minus 2c plus 2 equals 2, uh, parentheses c plus 2, uh, plus 3c. So what have we got to do here? We've got to solve the equation to find the value for c. Now there are two steps, well there are some, several steps. The first one is simplify both sides. So just take one side, completely simplify it, and then keep going. Take the other side, completely simplify it, and then keep going with the equation. Right. So let's simplify the left hand side. How would you simplify that? You've got a subtraction on a parenthesis, and these guys are being added, but are they like terms? This is like two cherries plus two dollars. Are they like terms? They're not like terms, so you can't add those guys. The subtraction sign is in front of the parentheses. And that means that it's asking you to subtract everything in here. Subtract the 2c and subtract the 2. Don't just subtract one of the uh, one of the terms. Subtract everything inside the parentheses. And the common mistake is to just subtract the 2c. Well, if they only wanted you to subtract the 2c, they would have written it like that. Okay, that says just subtract 2c but don't subtract 2. This, however, and that's wrong. This, however, says please subtract everything inside the parentheses. So my point is if you had an apple, two bananas, three cherries, and uh, five dollars inside a parentheses and there was a subtract sign in the outside, that doesn't just mean subtract the apple. It means subtract everything. Subtract the two bananas, subtract the three cherries, and subtract the five. All of it. Okay? So, um, anyway, and the other way to do it is to go, okay, that's like one, uh, there could be a one here. That's like one bag, one um, group of terms. And I can multiply negative one in here and here to get negative two C minus two. Anyway, that's what I end up with. 13 minus two C minus two. And what happens when you add like terms? 13 minus 2 goes together, that makes 11 minus 2c, right? Now let's simplify the, the right side. So you've got 2 times c plus 2, and you can use the distributive property there to get 2c plus 4, right? Plus 3c, right? And then add like terms, what do you get? 2c and 3c, 5c plus 4, right? And here we are again at this point with numbers, a number and a C on the left and a number and a C on the right. What do you do now and what happens? Well, at this point you could subtract 11 from both sides. You could add 2C to both sides. You could subtract 5C from both sides or you could subtract 4 from both sides. It doesn't matter. You could subtract 11 from both sides and it would all work out. Or you could do, so whichever you like. Any, or you could add 2C to both sides and everything would work out. As long as you do the same thing, thing to both sides. Just for fun, I'm going to um, subtract the 5c from both sides. Okay, And then I'll get 11, and then negative 2c minus 5c is negative 7c, Okay, and that makes 0, and then I have 4. So now I have a couple of numbers and just a c term, right? So I'm going to try and get the numbers together. So I'm going to subtract 11 to get all the numbers over on this side. And I'm left not just with 7c, but this negative sign still comes down. And what's 4 minus 11? It's negative 7, right? And then I divide both sides by negative 7. And I get c equals positive 1. Okay. And because it's such a long problem, I'm definitely going to check this one to see if I got the right answer. Okay. So to check an equation, you just plug in your answer for c. So 13 minus 2 times 1 plus 2 equals 2 times 1 plus 2 and then plus 3 times 1. So I'm going to plug 1 in for where c appeared in the original equation. Okay. Always check the original equation. Don't check you know, somewhere down the line because you may have made a mistake down the line. If you want to check all of your mistakes, start from the very beginning, plug your answer in and see what happens. You'll get 13 minus, what's 2 times 1 plus 2? That's 2 plus 2, which is 4. Okay. Now what's 13 minus 4? 9. 9 on the left. And then we have 2, and what's 1 plus 2? 3. Plus what's 3 times 1? 3. 
So that is 6 plus 3, which is 9. So 9 on the left, 9 on the right. Both sides are the same when we plug the number 1 in for C. Therefore, that is the correct answer. C equals 1.